Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our Go for Teal video series. Uh, in particular, now we're doing our little sub series that we're calling How to Improve Your RPM. Uh, today's topic, we want to talk about formatting your content to make sure the focus of your post is at the end. Uh, so, what the heck does that mean? Uh, this applies uh, especially to food bloggers and anyone now using Mediavine Create uh, or any other sort of uh, card. Uh, this also is going to apply to people that run things like videos or really any kind of lists um, or infographics. Uh, all these things I'm describing are generally used as the most important part of your post. And uh, the way to think about this is if a reader is coming to your site and they're reading your post, what are they coming there for? So again, if you're running a recipe, it's probably the recipe. Uh, if you're running a viral video, they probably want to read the video. Uh, if it's something like a review, they probably want to get down to the star rating. Um, so what's really important is that you put that stuff at the end of your post. Uh, so why? So first off, uh, as we've probably heard throughout these series, most users are skimming your posts. Uh, this is especially true of users that come from things like Pinterest that maybe are coming for one particular thing on your post. And if you put your recipe card at the very beginning, they're going to read that recipe card and they're going to bounce. Um, so you probably wrote a lot of content on your blog maybe after that recipe card. Uh, a vast, vast majority of your users will never see that content. Um, so we're always going to ask you, why are you writing content for users if they're not going to read it? So really rethink your content uh, if you are, are writing it outside of the recipe card to be relevant to your user. Uh, and again, this applies to more than just recipes. Uh, other examples, again, that I get made at the beginning were videos, infographics, lists, Anything that the user is coming for, make sure it's at the end. Uh, this is especially important uh, for ads because you want your ads to be seen by the user. Remember, in this modern day, we're only paid for ads that are viewed or viewable ads. Uh, and advertisers are only going to keep buying if their ads are engaged with. That's not going to happen if you're inserting your ads uh, after the content that the user came for. Uh, again, something like 90% of your users are probably never going to get there. Um, so running a 10% viewability on those ads uh, is ultimately going to kill your performance. And here at Mediavine, we lazy load ads. So those ads will never even be counted at all for you. Uh, so make sure, even if you're running things like re related recipes or related posts, uh, that stuff is outside of the post body. Um, so when you're writing content in WordPress or in other CMS platforms, uh, it's going to mark an area where your content is. Uh, Google and other uh, spiders are going to learn that that's where they should go for your most relevant content. Uh, you want to end that section uh, with your most important content. Uh, and if you have things like related posts or things that you want for after the fact, pin this, uh, follow my Instagram, whatever your other action items might be, that should appear outside of your post. And if you can't do that due to uh, you don't have the programming resources, please reach out to Mediavine. We can insert what we call a stopper or a stop selector so that we know when the focus of your content is over. Um, so we can mark that in on the back end to make sure we're not inserting ads after your recipe card if you do want to be able to run content after. But again, uh, for SEO reasons and user experience, we strongly recommend uh, that you don't run that stuff inside of the post content. Because again, you're indicating the search engines, this is my post content, and then you're running non-post content inside there. Uh, that's not great. Um, so again, a lot of themes give you hooks and ways to do this outside of the post. Uh, your plugin should hopefully be doing it correctly. Uh, unfortunately, not all of them do. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's fix this together. And what you're going to see is definitely uh, better search engine rankings. You're going to see a better user experience and a lot better revenue if you're making sure that the content that your user is coming for is at the bottom of your post. All right, thank you guys. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these Gopher Teal and other awesome videos we have. And I will see you guys next week.